All right, well, in Florida, there's so many different types of snakes that you may encounter, so it's important to be able to tell the difference between a venomous snake and a non-venomous one. Exactly. Carl Schaefer is a master gardener with the Nassau County Extension Office. Welcome. Thanks for Thank joining you very us. Much. It's, it's a pleasure to be here. Awesome. So I, we're both new to this area, and we knew that snakes would be a part of the deal that we got when we came here, but how many different species are in Florida? We got 45 different species okay. of native snakes, and we have uh, four species of invasive introduced snakes. We've got six species of venomous snakes. Wow. And in our area, we only have five of the six. You get, you you get know, one. You get one. <laughs> anyway. the copperhead is only in a small area west of Tallahassee, but in our area, we have the coral snake, pygmy rattlesnake, eastern diamondback rattlesnake, Timber rattlesnake, also called a cane break, and uh, the, uh, of course, I knew a I couple more. One. Uh, yeah, water moccasin. <laughs> there, there we go. go. Water moccasin. Thank you. Okay, so, I mean, typically when we think of snakes, everyone, especially me and Alex, yeah. will cringe, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. there's both hazards and benefits to, to this reptile, right? So tell us a little bit about that. Well, snakes provide an important function in our whole setting here. Yeah. They're incredible controls for rodents. And you have rodents here. We have a lot of rodents here. We got rats and mice. Yes. And these animals really control that. The other part, though, is it's a whole system uh, between the birds, the lizards, uh, deer, raccoons, possums, snakes. It's a whole of system, and it's in a dynamic. Right. And if you f destroy or damage one dynamic, it throws it out, yeah. and everything else compensates. Snakes are part of this, right? Mm -hmm. and uh, people worry about venomous snakes. In Florida every year, there's probably 500 snake bites. Sounds like a lot. Right. But 20% of those probably didn't have venom. Yeah, introduced. and these, this yeah. is an example yeah. of non-venomous, yeah. right? And, and these are non-venomous snakes. I, I couldn't come up with some good venomous snake photos. These are non-venomous. Okay. This is, uh, the uh, scarlet king snake. See, uh, if I were to just see that walking around, I would automatically think yeah. Yeah. I'd be terrified. <laughs> but yeah, then again, yeah. I would do it at any <laughs> time. Yeah. Well, and, and, you know, we can put it in perspective. Yeah. Uh, cell phones mm -hmm. kill 300 people a year in the state of Florida, but everybody has one. <laughs> right. True. The last Are you telling me to get a pet snake? No. no. Oh, okay. <laughs> or to get rid of my cell phone. Yeah. Either way, yeah. this, is yeah. not, this is not going <laughs> on. The cell phone only becomes a, a hazard when yeah. you pick it up. Right. Yeah. Don't pick up the snake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't so have now, to tell me twice. That, that's right. when people get bit. This they're is true. They're picking up the snake, or they're trying to kill the snake, or they're trying mm -hmm. to move the snake, yeah. or it's one of those, here, hold my beer, I'm going to show you something. <laughs> and right. that's when they get bitten. Yeah. So how do you, I mean, obviously by not trying to go after them, you can avoid them that way, but what happens if you do get a snake bite? If you what get you a do? snake bite, this is very important. Yes. First of all, you're gonna have to stay calm because mm -hmm. I think there's been one fatal snake bite in the last five years in Florida. You're not gonna die. It's gonna hurt. It's okay. gonna be very painful. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna hurt. First thing is you take off all the jewelry at the bite site, okay. get gotcha. it off, and tight fitting clothing because it's going to swell. Okay. The next thing is call 911 and get to medical care. Gotcha. Do not use a tourniquet, do not put ice on it, do not use a hot compress, yeah. don't do anything. But you have to stay calm. The mm -hmm. other thing is you want to keep the bite site at or below the level of the heart. It reduces mm. the circulation and slows down any venom okay. that's moving. The other thing is about 20% of bites are called dry bites. There's no venom injected. Ah, okay. Snakes, snakes really don't want to mess with you. You're, you're, you're right. too big. Right, we're probably more You're not, me. You're not a meal. Right. <laughs> and they're defensive, so they will strike a lot of times as a warning. Gotcha. Or, and that's what a rattlesnake does. So is they'll rattle. And you're providing a lot of important information, but you actually have a special session that's dedicated to snakes, right? Uh, Can you tell yes, us about that? Yes, on May 1st uh, from 10 to 11 at our Uli office in uh, Nassau County. Okay. We've got, I've got a whole hour on snakes, and we'll go much more into identification mm -hmm. and some of the, the nuances of being around. We've got snakes here. If you're around Jacksonville, <laughs> yeah, we got them. if you're around Northeast Florida, you're around snakes. Yeah. And that's, that's, that's the truth. It's a way of life. Mm -hmm. Don't let them scare you. That cell phone, 
to me. It scares me. <laughs> That's what my dad says that daily. Yeah. yeah. He's more afraid of the cell phone than anything else. Oh, yeah. Sure. Well, you thank bet. you so much for bringing this information, and, yeah. and I, I feel like I truly learned something yep. today. Well, definitely. I thank you. I was hope, definitely afraid of him was, up until this it point. It was worth your time, and thank mm -hmm. you for having me. Of course. of course. And you guys can take a look at this segment again on our website, firstcoastliving.net, and also get a few more details about that special session.